Yes, so we're backstage at So You Think You Can Dance back in L.A. Back how, in L.A. How does it feel to be doing the big concert in the in the city where, you know, you did all your competitive stuff? It's, uh, it's a little nerve-wracking, uh, to be honest. I mean, it's a, it's a huge show for us because the judges are in the audience again. Um, lots of execs and producers and choreographers. Yeah. So they, they're going to know more than anyone. If we mess yeah. up. <laughs> This time they can't say anything. No one's gonna ask them what they thought. So that's this is true. That's true. But, uh, but they can chat amongst themselves. <laughs> Very funny. So how has the tour come along? I know it's actually it's a, it's a ways in now, but okay, there's yeah. dancing going on behind I know, me. So I'm sorry. I don't even know what's going on. Um, so how's the tour coming along so far? Well, it's it's been really great. Yeah. You know, it's definitely tiring and hard work, but more than anything. It's been a lot of fun. I'm really enjoying myself. I'm just very grateful. A lot of people would kill to have this job, you know, to do something you actually love to do every day and to meet fans that are supporting you and to see the country and to get paid doing it also is, is just a nice thing on the cake, you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I have to just look at this too. I don't even know what's going on. on the tour bus all day? Yeah. Just total chaos? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Awesome. Absolutely. So I know you guys were at the, uh, I saw you guys last night at the taping. So how did it feel to be on the other side of things and watch a new group of kids do what you had to, you know, go through what you went through? It was a little weird. Um, just pulling into the parking lot, like I felt myself getting nervous. And I was like, what is going on? I'm not even dancing. But, um, it was, it was a lot of fun. It was, it was cool getting to see the, the next generation, so to speak. Uh -huh. And to see them going on stage knowing exactly, like, when they're standing there getting ready to go on stage, we know what they're feeling, so it's like, oh, we know what they're feeling, come on, just you can get through it, you know? Yeah. I do want to ask you specifically um, about the tappers this season, because obviously your brother went pretty far, he didn't make it, I'm sorry about that, it's but okay. he Thank went you. far and he got to do the big tap off, Yes. if that's, if that's the correct term. And they made a really big deal about, there's three tappers, and then they got rid of two of them, like, in one night. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a little bummed about that. You know, they were like, oh, you know, tap dancers, tap dancers, and then, you know, Philip and Bianca the same week. Yeah. I was like, wow, that is, that's harsh. And they didn't get a chance to have the public decide that. Yeah. Because it was the stupid World Series that yeah. no one cares about. Baseball, curse you. Damn baseball. But, I, I mean, I do wonder if they'd had a chance to compete for the public vote if it would have panned out that way. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. It's, it's you know, impossible to, to predict and you can speculate all day long. Um, I'm definitely disappointed. I mean, Philip is, is one of my good friends. Uh, he, he toured with my brother, so oh. it was very sad to see him go. And I've gotten to know Bianca across the past couple seasons, so right. she's she's great as well. It's definitely sad to, to lose two tappers in, in the same week. It's do you, rough. Do you think it's just hard for the medium of tap to sort of translate? Because I'll, I'll be honest, as someone who's not a dance expert, just enjoys watching dancing, if, if the mute button was on and you weren't hearing all the, the tapping stuff, sometimes it just it probably doesn't translate as impressive as it actually is. It, it definitely um, is harder to, to get a, a grasp on for the general public than you know other styles of dance because you know you're hearing these rhythms and you're like, oh okay, yeah, that's a cool rhythm, but you don't necessarily know how difficult it is. Right. So, say, tapping is hard, you know. And, yeah. And people don't realize that at home. You know, they see people flipping and jumping and jumping to the ground and twirling their partner. All this rhythmical stuff that you have no idea is so difficult to, to get correctly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you think your brother is going to audition again, or was that his? Um, I, I think he's, he's probably done. Um, well, I, actually, he, he has to be done. He's, he's too old now. No. So, um, but I, I think regardless, I think I think he's um, he's ready to you know move on. He, he already has lots of offers, and you know. He's got some, some good stuff lined up, so I'm, I'm excited for him. Actually, I'm thinking that both you and him have to come back to do some something in the choreography realm, because they do that with a lot of the I alumni. So. I would love to come back and choreograph, and I, I know if, if he had the opportunity to, to choreograph for the show, he would definitely take it. They have a, a, they have a shortage of, like, Broadway-style yes, choreographers. Yes, they do. <laughs> but, um, that actually
actually brings me to the subject of what you guys are planning to do next once this tour is over, because obviously, you know, there's so many avenues you could go down. I'm moving to LA. Everyone's moving to LA. We all of you are. are. We're all covered. Um, I would really love to get into the movie industry, uh, acting in it. Um, so I'm going to come out here, start auditioning, start taking classes, just really training. Um, I want to be a triple threat performer, so in no way am I going to throw dancing out the window. I want to do that for the rest of my life. But also just weave my way into movies too. Have you done acting in the past? Yeah, I've done um, plays, like school plays, and I did a little off-Broadway musical, um, and taken acting classes, of course. So it's just, you gotta go out there and put yourself out there. Well, several of the judges have said that the best dancers are the ones that have acting talent as well, because it's all about characters and stuff. Yeah, you really have to get in there to make the story believable. You can't, you can't fake it. They know when you're faking it. So you really have to find that place and, and do it for real. Mm -hmm. And what about you? What are your next um, plans? I am not moving to LA. <gasps> You're I'm, like the one. Like the one. I, I actually am the, the only awesome. one. Actually, I think I think uh, Randy said she wasn't. She said oh yeah, Utah. yeah. Randy's going back to Utah. So um, just the original couple, the only yeah, one. Yeah, I'm I'm going east. I'm gonna move to New York. Okay. Um, pursue my dreams of being on Broadway. That makes so, sense. Mm, I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, my like ultimate dream would be to start a, a resurgence of the old MGM style movie musicals like the Singing in the Rains and Funny Face and American in Paris. So if if I need to come out west, I, I will. I'll, wherever I need to go to work. You can come stay with yeah, me. Yeah, I'll come hang out with you guys. Aww, that's so sweet. You're not sick of each other after being, well, you're not on the same bus, are you? We're not. No, no not at all. all right. But even, even guys, I'm definitely not sick of the guys. Yeah. So, we're, we're a big family. Sad the tour is, is going to be over soon? Yeah, yeah I, am. I think it's going to start hitting us now. This is start, it kind of starts off the countdown of, oh my god, we only have this many left. And so we're going to start getting like sadder and sadder every, every show. Well, I don't want to make you guys sad, so I'll drop that subject. But I'm going to let you do this show. I know it's going to be great back yes, in this amazing fun. venue. And uh, thanks so much for your time and good luck with what you do next. Thank you very much.